Boom, Archer Pal 18650. Let's go. This is gonna be a massively quick run through about this device, pros and cons. I'll tell you straight off the bat, I don't like it. But I do want to thank Easy Click for sending it me for the purposes of our review. So if you check down in the description, as always, you'll find the link to easyclick.co.uk, the direct link to where my written review is, more pictures, more in-depth detail, a very thorough what happened with what wattage and what airflow. Bang over here, check it out. Bang over to Easy Click to check out other awesome stuff, reviews, articles, everything vaping really. Do it. Till then, scan with the specs. Boom. 89, 45, 23 millimeters, boom. 84 grams until you put a battery in and then it's 127 grams. That is super light. It feels like it ain't got a battery in, but it has. The power goes up from five watts to 60 watts in increments of 0 0.5. So we start at five, 5.5, 5 6, 6.5, you get the score. It loops round, so when you get to 60, you can go straight back down to five. Press and hold it and it goes up faster, but when you get to 60 or when you get to five, it stops. They have to press it again to loop round. I like that, that's a good feature. Inside the front panel, if I can get it off while I'm on video. Ah, oh, see, I knew I won. Inside the front panel, which is quite easy to get off, usually, there's an 18650 battery. It has got a ribbon to get it in and out nice and easily. It really annoys me that the uh, pushy bits on the top rather than on the bottom. But there you go, 18650. And inside that case is obviously the button. And we'll take that off so you can see it again. The button, and if you see the button slightly raised on that bed, but it does sit nice and flush to the battery cover, which is quite nice. Less chance of it firing in your pocket. But that battery door wobbles a fair bit. I don't know if you can hear it rattling. There was a lot of rattling on me. There is an RBA section for this little beast, but the resistance that this little beast can handle is 0.3 up to 2 ohms. Yeah, 0.3 to 2 ohms. Usually devices are like 0.1 up to 3 ohms. But this one, like I've just said for the third time, 0.3 up to 2. It uses USB-C for charging. Yes, yeah, feel it. USB-C. Can you see it? If I put the... Uh, oh, you can't see it, can you? Where is it? Anyway, it's via look. I saw it then. It's via look. USB-C. It charges with 1.5 amp charge rate, which I think is a bit appalling. Why would you not put a 2 amp charge rate in? So let's have a look at that. If you're going to put a 3,000 milliamp hour battery in there, it's going to take two hours. As with a two amp charge rate, it'll take an hour and a half. So not much difference there. You're going to get a lot of vaping time out of this. I calculated about 23 hours if you have a two second buff every other minute continuously throughout the day. That's pretty decent. So you can't complain too much for two hours charging. Still, I'd like that little bit extra charge time. This one's not TPD regulated, so it's three mil. If you are in a TPD area, it's a two mil capacitor. The drip tip size is a 510. Can we see how we're struggling with light here or what? 510 connector look, there you go. Nice and small, little hole. But if you look at that, it's quite big on the outer edge. Making it feel a bit awkward when you, you know what I mean? It just doesn't seem right to me in personalness, in personal opinions. But also, if you look at that, it's quite low down. Put a finger inside of it so you can see exactly what's occurring there. You. You, you kind of, I mean, you can't really get your, don't get me wrong, I don't want to have like that, but I don't like things going to my lip while I'm trying to, it just doesn't feel right, I'm sorry guys. It's made of aluminium alloy, PCTG plastic and PC, which I think is plastic, well I forgot to research that, I'm sorry, my bad. So let's look inside the other side. This is where the magic happens. We've got a small little screen there. Can you see that? Small little screen. Come on. There you go. Got a small little screen. It just tells you your resistance. It tells you what wattage you're firing at. And it tells you your battery. Happy days. 
in here you've also got your pod that is your pod and it's one of them that's internal so you kind of have to i ain't got any nails slide it out it slides out nice and easy i ain't got any nails so i have to use the cover i don't know how easy it'd be to get out with your nail or not uh there's absolutely practically no leakage for the entire time to use this but here's your pod and your coil you'll see what i'm saying so the refill is on the outside on the inside if you know what i'm saying so you don't have to pull out to refill it the coil is huge the base and the coil are separate which really really pisses me off we had this with it of oxva oxva that reviewed of the week i didn't like it end of the day if you lose that bottom bit it's gonna be a pain in the ass it's a pain in the ass because there's three different types that fit on different coils you know what i mean it's just faff it if it were to make it compatible with other others and fair enough but still i think there should be an option to buy it built in uh, as well i understand that'd be more cost there and i know it uses the earth's uh, natural resources a bit more is metal even natural i don't know um i don't like it i don't care about anything else i don't like that system for the coils didn't like it for the oxva i don't like it for this sorry i should add before i move on with that bit the adjustable airflow is on the coils there and i did say on the written review that the adjustable airflow is quite nice it gets a nice restrictive mouth airflow or it's got a nice direct lung slightly restrictive airflow for direct lung but it's still nice oh clouds for days amazing right the juice window on the front is pretty much let's let, let's compare this to the actual device shall we shall we have a look Just give me a second i'll get it off uh it's coming see i ain't got nails so everything's hard for me that's the juice window massive pod so you've pretty much got a full view of how much liquid you've got in which is always nice there's no worse than having to faff about just to find out how much liquid you've got so i like it i support it i love it it's great it's got your usual protections over time overcharge short circuit and overheat protection it's got all them um so that's it specs features all done and there's the device have a nice clean look there's some airflow of here you know but the airflow also comes out of here let's have a look at where the airflow comes from i ain't got a clue what that noise was i'm sorry it worked this i promise you um so there you go i like it i do what i will say is what i was just talking about written review for a better look you will have to go to the written review but this led indicator it actually showing up on the video quite well in reality it's not perfectly aligned with that let's get down to business um you see i like it but i don't like it i opened it i didn't like it at all come towards end of writing review when i'm kind of like i'm being too negative i'm being too positive i'm being harsh i'm not being harsh enough but the reality is it's just a very very basic pod there's a lot of things missing with this like for example when you change a coil you take the 1.4 coil out you put the 0.4 in you fire it and you think it's underpowering and you look at the screen and it still thinks it's powering the other coil so you take it back out fire it so it no atomizers bang it back in and then it changes that sucks that is really awful and really bad electronically as well um on just so many levels so then i kind of thought you know what no i'm not being too harsh it is awful but on that awfulness it has got a really good taste flavor and relatively good vape production it's not a cloud chasing device but you know can you taste that that feels that's 70 30 i'm vaping now by the way and it's handling that nice and well too see it's just a standard i'm gonna sneeze anyway there you go the the uh, flavor on it's good their production's good don't really like the top shape if we put a different drip tip on it it might be a bit better um there's good things and there's bad things about it like i said i'm not a fan i didn't like it from the moment i opened it it's very light when i first opened it i thought it felt like a mcdonald's toy because it's very light and it feels plastic it's not plastic aluminium alloy and I'm pretty sure the door's aluminium alloy. 
but I can't be 100% sure. The stickers are obviously plastic, but it has a very plasticky feel about it, and it's super light. It's that light that I expected it to start floating when I chucked it up just then. Um, the last thing I will say is this uh, This review is kind of focused on the negative things. Right? If you are considering buying one of these, bang or to easy click, have a good read through the review. You'll see all the downsides, you'll see all the good sides. It's not the world's worst device. If you said to me, drop this for a 10, I'd go, yeah, sure. If you said you want this for 40 quid, I'd go, you're on another planet. Like, no chance. When there's such much better pod mods you could buy. Um, my honest feeling, if Ar Archery, if you're watching this, I've got a problem with a drip tip mainlet. Um, I've got a problem with a base to the coil. Some people might be right with that, but for me, it just seems like unnecessary faffing. Um, what else do I have a problem with? I have a problem with the reading of the resistance. Um, and it's, it's just things like that. But the written review explains it all nicely. Um, I feel like we're going into too much detail for the, the specifics on the video. Um, so bango if you want more details, whether you, you buy it or not. My recommendation is depending on price. Purely depending on price. If it's uh, affordable, then get it. It's a nice little device to play with. And if you're going to a festival, for example, and you want to bring it back, but think it might get broke, then sorted. If you're buying it because you're going to spend it, use it for the next three years, I'd probably suggest there's better devices on the market. I have got absolutely no idea what that says. R Rubble 27 full? I don't know. But I'll message you on... The, no, I won't message I'll comment on the winning comment. So you know you've won. All you have to do... You know, that was for the Aspire uh, from last week. So contact me on Facebook or Instagram. That's it. I found my truck now. Contact me on Facebook or Instagram to claim our prize. If you want to win the Archery Pal 18650, because it is worth buying. Like I said, it isn't awful. It's worth buying. Then you know what to do. Subscribe. Comment down below. See it, you entered. If you want to comment but you specifically don't want to win, put don't want to win. Regardless of what you are doing, subscribe, ring the bell, thumbs up if you want, thumbs down if you want, I don't care. People give me thumbs down for random reasons. Um, there you go. I hope you're all staying safe. Uh, good luck on the giveaway. Share it. Share this video. Go on. There you Guys, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I try to keep this as quick and simple as possible and as honest as possible. I don't know how well I did it that. But you know what to do, guys. You know you got to stay cloudy.